So in this uh, test pit, uh, about 120 feet from the cabin, and probably about um, 180 feet from the lake, uh, I've dug a test pit roughly just under six feet. And I'm gonna take you through the areas here of the soil horizons. Up here, we're gonna have all the uh, forest litter. So we're gonna have various root structures, um, a lot of leaves, a lot of, a, lot of, a lot of organics that sort of just rot away over the years. As we go down a little bit further, we're reaching a horizon where we've, we've got a sandy loam type of texture. It's neither gritty nor smooth. And when we wet it, uh, the ribbon breaks, you know, uh, less, less than an inch. So which suggests a uh, sandy loam characteristic. As we go down a little bit further, we're gonna see various modeling spots. So you see these little gray areas and mixed with some uh, rust spots like that. So as we go through this soil horizon, we, we quickly see again all this graying modeling. What that suggests is that the water table lifts to this particular area here and then drops seasonally. And so with our test bed, you can clearly see that we've got a high water table right at about our four and a half foot mark. So four and a half feet deep, we're uh, already mid-June and we still have a high water table here down four and a half feet. So probably a couple months ago, we were reaching a high water table roughly around this area. Like this horizon is still fairly moist, but it's dried out as it goes down. So this horizon here, down below this modeling horizon, we have a very wet type of sandy loam. And it's still a very similar soil characteristic all the way through, but down here we have a lot more saturation, which means there's always a lot of water hovering around this saturated area. As you can clearly see, we have a substantial amount of water in our test pit, close to a foot. So when we design this, of course, we're not going to be able to do a conventional gravity system because conventional gravity systems, we need close to two feet uh, for pipe dispersal where our infiltrative surface will be. And if you clearly see, our rust spots start immediately just after the two foot level. So what do we do in this case? Well, we're going to have to build a, construct a constructed vertical separation from roughly one foot down to another couple of feet up above. So it'll be an above septic system that we're gonna require here. And that is usually with uh, specified sand, a mound sand that we're gonna use. And what that does is clear uh, the pathogens prior to it reaching this more restrictive area right here. So we have to consider this a restrictive zone because our high water table seasonally comes roughly to that point right there. And as you can see, as we chop this horizon, you can see further modeling a little bit uh, easier. And you can see, if you look carefully, the uh, rust spots. So you'll note a lot of modeling going on, a lot of rust spots. It's a little more than a foot, you know, roughly close to 40 centimeters. We're starting to get this horizon which is uh, getting restrictive because of the high water seasonally. So if our septic system comes in through here and reaches a high water situation, it's not going to be very effective. So what we have to do is we certainly have to build a sand layer on top of the, uh, on top of the soil, making a constructed above grade uh, sand mound system. Now this is the secondary test pit, uh, 32 meters north of the first test pit. And we're going to see quite similar characteristics to the first test pit. Now as we go down, you can see uh, these varying roots. Uh, this is slightly more of a gray in this type of horizon. Uh, but you're going to see some rusting, some modeling, 
little light gray spots in there. But uh, one uh, telling factor is you look at these roots. These roots are quite dead on the ends and quite white. This definitely signifies that it's been in a high water situation on this particular side as well. You're gonna see these roots. You see how they're quite dead on the ends? Little white spots on the root systems. This signifies that it's been in a high water. So you look throughout, you see these varying rust spots everywhere. Signifies that this water table here rises seasonally, comes up through this root system, kind of kills the ends of these roots, and it leaves us evidence to suggest that we have a high water table that comes roughly a foot below the surface.